What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to use Artune and how to offload maps from your Powertronic ECU and also put new maps onto your Powertronic ECU. So without further ado, let's get started. Things you're going to need in order to do this are a Powertronic ECU. So set that off to the side. You're also going to need the USB cable that came in your box. And you're going to need a Windows OS device. This software does not work on OS uh, or iOS right now, so I'm sorry about that. You'll have to borrow somebody's window computer if you do not have one. So what you need to do is you need to go on to Powertronics website and you need to download the Artune software that's in their download section. On top of that, you also need to download the uh, USB drivers that are available right below the uh, tuning software. After that, you'll be able to open up Artune, and it's going to bring you to this screen right here, which is the base map screen. So right now it says active map zero because we don't have our device plugged in. So what I need to do is plug this in. Once I plug it in, I get a little status LED right there. I'll set that off to the side. Up here. I need to hit. All right, so I just had a little problem there. Not sure if it's specific to me or not, but when I first open the software, if I do not already have my ECU plugged in before opening this software at all, it will not bring up COM5 up here, which is what I need in order to read my ECU. So now that I know that I have the right COM, I'm going to hit connect. After I hit connect, you see the screen change and it says active map one up here and over here in our little status screen, it says connected. Also down here, it says status connected to ECU. Now, what you wanna do before you change any of the maps on here is you wanna copy the two base maps that already came on your Powertronic ECU. In order to do that, you're going to hit receive at this point. Now, right now we are in active map one. So this would be receiving and copying map one that comes stock on your Powertronic ECU. So if I hit receive, all these numbers are gonna change here in our fueling table. So now it is showing me what the trimmings are for map one. After you've hit received and your numbers up here have shifted, if you wanna go through all these tabs and take a look at each one, the ignition and so on and so forth, the trims, you can. It's not necessary, but what you want to do now to save this map is you want to hit File, Save As, and I have saved mine onto a uh, SD card that I have plugged into my computer. I've already done it for mine, so I have right here Base Map 1 and Base Map 2. Now, in order to connect to Active Map 2, your ECU will need to be plugged into the bike, into the uh, bike. So I will show a little clip of how I figured that out and why that's necessary. All right, so here's what I figured out about how to load map two. Since when you take this and you unplug it from the uh, connection here, and if say you go in your house and you wanna upload your tunes, you can only upload map one while the unit is unplugged. So what you have to do in order to update map two is come back out to your bike. Right now, it's in active map one. The bike is not on at all. I just have it plugged into the ECU and plugged back into our harness. So if I come up here, right now, I've got map one selected. If I switch this over to map two, it now says active map two. I can go back and forth on the fly between the two. So if you're going to change map two, you're going to have to be plugged into your harness. Okay, so now that you have both of your maps backed up and you want to load a new one, this is what you're going to do. So right now we're in active map one. I've received a file from a fellow Duke 390 owner. He said that this file was specifically made by Powertronics and used to be published on their website and it was created for their air filter modification and the GPR slip-on. So what we're going to do in order to upload a file at this point is we're going to hit open, 
we're going to choose which file we want to load into our map one. Right now, I'm just going to use base map one as a, an example. Hit open. And if these numbers were any different, they would all shift over to, to map one. So just to show you guys an example of what I mean by when these tables will change when you load in your new map, this is what I'm talking about. So this right here is just the base map one that comes on your Powertronic ECU. I'm gonna go up to file, open. This is the 390 uh, GPR exhaust and filter map that I received from a fellow owner. If I hit open on this and you watch closely, the tables have changed. Our ignition change on this tab here and the fuel change here and all these other tabs probably have little uh, changes in them as well so in order to send this and save this as map one at this point I need to hit send status sent to ECU so now this map is loaded onto my ECU as map one now, in order for this to actually stay on here, when I go to use the motorcycle, I need to hit burn. It gives us our warning that this will be made permanent. I hit proceed. Status, burning data to ECU. I need to keep this here until it says burn to ECU successful. And then at this point, we would hit disconnect. We are disconnected. And now I can unplug my ECU, plug it back into my motorcycle. And at this point, when I am on map one, this file is now the file that I'll be running. Now, like I said before, if I want to load map two, which I'm going to load map two as the DinoTune file that I was sent, what I need to do is I need to go plug my ECU back into the harness of the motorcycle because this software cannot switch between map 1 and map 2 by itself. It needs to be plugged into the motorcycle and you need to use the map switch that was provided to put yourself into map 2 first. At that point, you would switch into map 2 and then I'd be able to do the same procedure. Go to file, open. I would open the file for the dyno tune. I would send it to the ECU and then I would burn it to the ECU, disconnect, and then at that point I could take the motorcycle out for a ride and my map two would then be the dyno tune that I was sent. Now, if any case these maps do not work out, and I need to say this, this has to be done at your own risk. So if these maps do not feel right to you, if your engine feels odd, if you feel like you've lost power, that's why we backed up our data from the original maps that were sent to us by Powertronic in the first place. So you would just plug back into the motorcycle and do the exact same steps, and you would open the original files that you backed up, base map 1 and base map 2, and you could load them back into your ECU. No harm, no foul. And it is 100% totally on you and the risk that if your motorcycle has any type of damage done to it from putting somebody else's ECU mappings onto your bike, it is 100% on you. I do not take liability for that. With that being said, you also have the opportunity to take your motorcycle and your ECU to a professional shop and they can build you your own dyno file as well. Now, the risks that come with running somebody else's file is atmospheres are different everywhere people live. You don't know if that person lived at sea level, if they lived up in the mountains. So the fueling and the ignition could be significantly different. So with that being said, I hope this was video was helpful to you guys and you understand how to load and unload maps on your Powertronic ECU. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me if you would. Moto vlog videos are going to be rolling out here shortly and I have more content to come. So please leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one.